What's your name? Chris. Chris. Hey guys, Todd for Red Knight. So, I'm at the Jump Tech booth with Alexander. Yep. And y'all saw those illegal suppressors, right? Yes, yeah. The, uh, the illegal in non free states. Uh, you know, places you don't want to live, California, New York, you know, uh, what's that, Rhode Island, places like that, uh, Chicago, places where you just don't want to be, they're illegal. But in free America. No, no, all 50 states are illegal. No, I mean, just free, I mean, free America, you're good. You also a lot of these black market? Well, I hope not. All right, so, uh, yeah, they're not actually illegal. No, not only. There's a couple of states where they are. Yes. And where there's also a lot of rumors that fly around about ATF just going to show up at my door, right? They will, if you're doing something illegal. Um, but if you just own a silencer, no, probably not. Yeah, we still have Right, it's still free. So, you know, there, there's a lot of rumors that go around about the SBRs and the silencers, suppressors, which are going to start to call them, so most of that is misconstrued, I guess you could say. Or a misinformation, yeah, absolutely. And I know with SBRs, you have to see if you want to go to the ATF or something like that, or you want to go to one state or one state. Well, some of us, you don't have to worry about it. You don't, right? No, you don't need to worry about uh, crossing state lines, you just want to make sure you don't go into a state where they are illegal. And then, as far as actually getting the suppressor, you still have to do so they're like hardware in the media. Yep. Yep, that's, I mean, that's really the only other step. You know, you're going to fill out what's called a Form 4, which is an application to pay that $200 tax and send it to ATF, and you're just going to wait. They're going to wait six to nine to 12 months, it depends on what the times are then. But, um, that's the only real difference. If you were legally allowed to buy a firearm, you were legally allowed to buy a suppressor, as long as you were in one of the states that legally allow you to own a suppressor. And then I've also heard the rumor that you can't hunt. In some states, you cannot, uh, but a majority of them, you can. Uh, you can hunt with a suppressor, uh, most game, and uh, some states are farming only, but most, most are all game. Yeah, absolutely. So, with, with hunting with the suppressor, you just have to check the kind of uh, Absolutely. Yeah, and you always want to do that. So, have you heard any other myths, misconceptions, anything like that that kind of go around? So, uh, so it's suppressor ownership, huh? Oh, you automatically get put on a list. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, you're on a, like a watch list. Yeah, no. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty legit. You can do it that. is. Yeah. It's, it's totally legit. <laughs> if nothing else, it's just something to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of fun. A lot of great applications for silencers in hunting, in a home defense situation, and just for fun. Teaching new shooters, a lot of benefits. And when you are running a suppressor, one of the big advantages is a lot of them don't need to work. That's true, absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, depending on the platform and the suppressor, in most cases you do not need hearing protection. Um, the suppressor is something the that we were. Sure, that sounds good. So, anyway, thank you much. Thank you.